what's going on everybody, Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 25 of Pokemon Trainer Jake. Last time I left Ecritique City, I went through Route 42, and I made it to Mahogany Town. This time, I'm going to be heading north towards the Lake of Rage. Now, I did do a lot of off-screen training again, not for the experience, but for the money. As you can see, I am over $150,000. I did have over $156,000, but I spent quite a bit of money on different kinds of Pokeballs. So, Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls, because I'm going to be attempting to catch a very special Pokemon in this episode. Uh, so... Yeah, what, so like I said, I'm going to go north. And I guess I should show, should show the levels of my team. Because my team did, they, they did level up at least once. So Aquasan and Volcano are level 37. Janeway, Vixen, and Pancake are level 38. And then Grassy is level 40. So Grassy is very close to the, to the level cap, which is level 41. So yeah, I didn't want to train, I, 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 I didn't want to train my team too much because I didn't want them all to be at the level cap. Because then I would, be, I would not be getting any, any experience at all. So anyways, here is the first trainer of the episode. So he's got a sand shoe, so that's actually perfect for aqua sand. And this is around the same level as all the Pokemon that I fought off screen. So I'm not too worried about this. Surf is going to knock out the sand shrew. And that's going to give Aqu it's going to get aqua sand to level 38. And a Sand Slash. Sand Slash is a very cool Pokemon. Shiny Sand Slash is actually really cool. Its spikes are red, I think. It looks awesome. Anyways, the Sand Slash is using Dig. Not too worried about that. I'm considering getting the TM for Dig. I am going to spend some of this money on TM soon. Not sure exactly when. Uh, anyways, 983 experience and a bomb. Interesting. Actually, I saw somebody walking around with an Ambipom, I'm pretty sure, as the evolved form of Apom. But it's a Sinnoh Pokemon, and I actually have no idea how to evolve uh, Apom. I, I think I think you have to level it up while it, while it knows double hit, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyways, Aquasan is, is flinching a lot. And almost gonna knock you out, let's use Icy Wind. Wow. Just keep on flinching, will ya? Aqua Sand, I was gonna call him Astonish. Are you serious? Can you stop? Please? Please. Thank you. My oh my, okay. There we go, and a critical hit. That's just lovely. All right, there we go. Get like $500 or something. Losing isn't fun at all. Or almost 500, not quite. Uh, okay, so Volcano is my lowest level now. So I'm gonna put her to the front. Hopefully we fight some bug or grass type Pokemon. Uh, if we go in here, I think you have, normally I think you have to go in there to complete the story. I'm not 100% sure. Um, find a wild marine. I guess, you know what, I'll just go back. I'm, I don't want to spend money. I really don't, but I think, I, I, something tells me that you have to do that in order to actually beat the game. You have to, because it's a Team Rocket guy and he's demanding a thousand dollars or something, right? Yeah. Wait, what happened to the music? Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is a thousand dollars to go through. Thank you very much. So yeah. Uh, again, I don't know if I had to do that, but something tells me that I have that I do have to in order to actually progress through the story. Uh, we have a Sunstone, so that's how you evolve Sunkern, and that's actually the only Pokemon that I can think of right now that evolves through a Sunstone. There's definitely more, but I'm having a hard time remembering. Um, okay, so we have a Pokemaniac down here, and, and a Picnicker, and a Wild Raticate, and you know what? I have a Super Repel that I should probably be using. So you know what? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna run away, and I am going to use it right now. There we go. Okay. Now let's talk to this person. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? Uh, I don't think so. Rent. All right. Oh wow. Okay. You have four Pokemon. Okay. Let's. Uh, oh yeah. Actually, when I was when I was doing the off screen. Oh wait. Why am I using Fire Blast? I have uh, extra sensory. Okay. Um. So when I was doing the off screen training, Volcano tried to learn Flamethrower again, even though I got rid of it like a few videos ago or something. And also, uh, Vixen learned Zen Headbutt. 
which is... It's actually, basically, I didn't realize this, but Zen Headbutt is pretty much a... It's a uh, physical version of Extra Sensory. I think it might have slightly less accuracy. Um, but it, it, like it's, it has the same power. It, it it may cause the opponent to flinch. It's it's the same typing. It's just a, it's just a, it's physical instead of uh, special or special instead of physical. I don't even, I don't even know what move I'm talking about now. I'm talking about one of the two. I don't know which one. But anyways, Zen Headbutt is physical and Extra Sensory is special. And they both have 80 power. They both possibly cause the target to flinch. Um, they're very similar moves. One of them, like I said, has slightly less accuracy. Um, but I just, so, yeah, Vixen was trying to learn, uh, Zen Headbutt through a level up, and I decided to get rid of Extra Sensory, because, uh, Stantler has slightly higher physical attack than Special Attack, so, yeah. But I didn't actually know that. I got rid of Extra Sensory hoping that, I, that, that, it, that he would. He, he, he does. I, I'm, I made the right choice. He does have a little bit more physical attack. Uh, anyways, Janeway is taking care of this guy. Did you really have to live with one HP? And now I bet you she's gonna get confused. And then, okay, never mind. Okay, let's use Power Jam and be done with this battle. Okay. And we got a decent amount of money. So that's good, sixteen twenty-four. Uh, so back over one hundred fifty thousand. Now I guess I'll keep Volcano on the front because I want her to get to. Are you going to Licorice too? Let's play for a little while. Uh, sure. I mean, I don't like referring to. Pokemon battling is playing. I mean, I guess you could, but... Anyways, she has a Clefairy. Uh, let's Fire Blast. And hopefully she'll get knocked out. Nope, not quite. Body Slam. Okay, I'm gonna go with Faint Attack. For some reason, I have a hard time remembering the Faint Attack is a Dark type and not a Ghost type. I always think it's a Ghost type, but... Nope. And a Skip Loom. Okay. Let me flame wheel. And that's gonna do the trick. Skiploom's gonna go down. And, uh, Picnickers and, uh, um, Campers, they don't give out too much money. It's kind of disappointing. Um, I see a tree that could, that could be cut. Uh, oh, it's only for an Apricorn. Okay. I was gonna say, if there's an item in there, I might consider going back and getting Tutter and cutting that down. But it's only for an Apricorn. Actually, it looks like I could fit it through there, but I don't think so. Um, Anyways, I guess I'm going to go to Grassy. Grassy's almost at the level cap. Um, so I maybe should not be using him, but whatever. It'll be nice. Uh, oh, you, you, you just have Magikarp, dude. Level 30? Are you kidding me right now? And I did not mean these body slams. It's not like it matters. Magikarp is the worst Pokemon, so this should not come... Okay, I didn't knock him out, but he got paralyzed. Um, so, will I get to level 41, or will I stop right when I, I'm about to hit level 41? I kind of forget how this works, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not sticking around for this. Yeah, I'm uh, going to Janeway. Uh -huh, you thought you were going to get a super effective hit, but you were wrong. All right, Thunder Punch, that knocks out the Gyarados, and that gets Janeway to level 39. So she's also getting pretty close to the level cap. This is the one problem with training off screen. I'm not training for the experience, honestly. Like, my, my team is doing good uh, in terms of their levels. They're all uh, they're all pretty close to the level cap. I'm, I, 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 like, I'm doing all the off-screen battles for the money. That's what I'm trying to do. Because uh, you can rematch all the trainers once a day, I think, or something like that. Um, so every time I come back, like, whenever I get home from work, I just t turn the game on and I just go back and rematch some of the trainers. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a good way to make money, honestly. Uh, and I'm going in a different direction. I don't really want to go this way. Um, I really don't want to go this way. Is there an item? Yeah, there is an item over here. I guess I'll grab it. Uh, actually, I'm kind of wasting a repel. What is this? It's a leaf stone. I, I already had a leaf stone that I sold. Um, but now I got it back. I have all these stones that I'm gonna sell. Uh, so, I've pretty much used, yeah, I just wasted, holy crap!
Wow. Wow. This is the first time in the series. This is the first time in the whole adventure that I have encountered five Pokemon. I've encountered three at once a few times, but I have not encountered five. And it's and they're all Gyarados. Can I run? Wow, I was actually able to run. I was I'm surprised about that. Okay, um Yeah. I want repel this is exactly why I, want, why I want repels. I'm gonna actually BRB. I'm gonna go buy some repels and I'm gonna just get out of this area because I don't need, really need to be here. Um, I would like to look around to see if there's any items, but I'm gonna go spend a little bit of money and now I can't run away. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna cut away. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I went back to Olivine and I bought three super repels because I did not want to go under $150,000 again. I've used one, so I'm good to go. I'm not gonna go back to where I was because I just don't want to. Let's battle this this guy. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. Wow. Beckett? Oh, you have a slow bro. Um Am I wise to actually attempt to knock this guy out? I'll try. I mean this probably won't even do half. I'll be shocked if it does. Okay. Yeah. That's super effective. But I'll use fan attack again. If he uses Oh wait, I just realized, yeah, I'm dead if he uses Scald. Why did I do that? Yeah, why did I do that? That was so stupid of me. I'm gonna wave it. The volcano's level 38. I thought she was level I thought she was still level 37 for some reason. Um okay, I'm gonna go to Vixen. And I'm going to Aha! Oh, wait a second, you have own tempo, never mind. I thought something good was happening to me, but... Anyways, I'm not too worried. There we go, Slowbro goes down. Slowbro's cry sounds a lot like the champs. How can you do this to me? I'm sorry. Uh, that's another trainer there. Is that a, that's a fisherman that I've battled, right? I don't know, I guess I could go back to where I was. I'm wasting a repel right now, though. That's the problem with doing this. Um, I'm gonna come out from the other side, which I don't really want to do, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, see, I'm coming out from it for, for, from the other side, and I don't really want to do this. But whatever, what can I do? And yes, I will use another repel. Uh, there's something over here, is there not? I hope I'm not going all this way for absolutely no reason at all. There better be something good over here. I can't even get past, can I? So I am just wasting my time. Oh, wait a second, I see. If I go all the way like this, I'm wasting my time and my repels. There's a house here. This better be, seriously, this better be important. Hi. You have strayed far. Here, I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this child. Uh. Okay, that's not worth it. That, that, honestly, all of that is, is, that's just simply not worth it for me. Now I have to go all the way back. Seriously, man. I can use my last, yeah, I guess so. This is a complete way. How do I, dude, why did I even bother? I, yeah, you know what? I could get to what I'm trying to do from here, but there's one more trainer that I haven't battled yet, and I want to battle them before. So I'm just going to go back. Just, you know, waste some steps here because that's just what I do. Okay. Um, I like to go through grass when I have a repel used because I feel like I'm not wasting it. Would you get this? Some right kid made fun of my precious Pokemon. Humph, my Pokemon's great. Everybody's talking about this red-haired, this red-haired kid or whatever. All right, so Nidoran male. This won't be a problem. Actually, one of these guys has a Nidoking, I'm pretty sure, and Hurt Golems will Silver. That's weird how... Actually, maybe this guy does. I, I don't know. But I thought it was like level 17 or something. Anyways. Critical hit. You had no chance there. Nidorino. Super Fang. Okay. Nidorino goes down. Goes down O. And there's the Nidoking. King. There's the Nid and North Power. Whatever. Whatever indeed. 
okay. Uh, oh, wait a second. I didn't have to use Mudbub. I could have used Surf to begin with. I did it. Wow. And Aqua Sand goes down. Let's go to Grassy, sure. <sighs> Magical Leaf. Sludge Wave? Out of all the poisons I knew, you taught your Nidoking King Sludge Wave. Okay. Well, it almost killed Grassy, so. Anyways, there we go. Uh, Nidoking King goes down. 1,084. Okay. Your Nidoking King was outstanding. If it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it was outstanding, then why is it dead? Honestly. Um, the Fishing Guru's house. Yes, we want to go inside here. Hey. Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by Rampage and Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great, great grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively magic card there, but I don't understand what's happening. Because they're being forced to evolve. I guess that's a spoiler alert. Um, I'm going to be back in one second. I'm going to go heal and I actually want to do something before I continue. So I'm here in the department store in Goldenrod City. I did heal right before this, but what I want to do is I actually want to sell some of my items. And I want to buy some more Ultra Balls. I did buy three already off screen before I started recording this episode. But I want to buy some more because we're going to be uh, attempting to catch a very special Pokemon. And I really, really want to be able to catch this Pokemon because I'm only going to have one chance. If I kill the Pokemon, then that's it. So I want to be as prepared as I can be. Uh, I have a lot of money. I've been I've been kind of waiting for this for quite some time now. I have, I have enough money. I think I'm going to uh, buy some TMs and uh, see see which ones I want, which ones I don't want. But before I do that, I'm selling up the, the, my second Leaf Stone of the series, selling the Sunstone that I just got. Wow, I just got, Sunstones, you can sell, you can get more if you sell those, that's good to know. Thunderstone, Waterstone, I don't really need. Um, and honestly, some of these TMs, I mean, I'm not really gonna get a lot for these. Um, the Orenberries? Shockingly, I actually can get a lot for them. I'm not going to use them, so I might as well sell them. The Petra Berries, I'm not going to use. I'll sell them. Rossberry, I'll sell that. Uh, and that's it, I guess. So I'm almost at, I'm almost at 160,000. I wouldn't mind getting there before. So let's actually sell those TMs because Focus Punch, I'm not going to use. Hidden Power, I just got that. I'm not going to use. Power Gem, I don't really need that because Janeway has it, so I'm going to sell that. Uh, razor shell I'm gonna sell and I'm now at 160,000. I'm at 160,000 four dollars So we're good now. I can take a look at TMs um, The only problem with this is I don't know what Pokemon can learn certain moves So I'm a little bit scared um, To do this but brick break is a move that I want I have drain punch But I want brick break so I'm gonna buy brick break um, Let me see Poison type moves, I'm not overly interested in. Um, what? How much power does this have? It doesn't even tell you the power. Is that better than Mud Bomb? I'm not sure. Um, rock type moves. Uh, ghost type moves. Iron Tail. Steel Wing, I could teach to. Could teach that to Crobat, but um, again, like I'm not sure what moves these Pokemon can learn. Solar Beam. I'm gonna buy Solar Beam for Grassy. Uh, Zap Cannon is good. It, I mean, it has it has it has a lot of power, and it is for sure. For sure paralyzes, but it's quite inaccurate. I'm not even sure if Ampharos can learn that. Um, that's the problem with these. Like, I'm not even sure... No, like, I don't know... Um... Mm. So, so, so let me see. Yeah, so those are all... Um, I'm not really sure about some of these. Um... Dude. Can I'll buy Mega Kick? It's a good move. I don't know who can learn this, but I'll buy it because I can. I have money. Um, and I'm just I'm trying to decide on uh, 
I don't think Bulldoze has a lot of power. I'll buy it, I guess. I'm scared to see how much power it has. I hope I didn't... I'm already down to 100,000. Holy crap. I better stop, actually. I better stop, and I better just take a look at some of these. Um, I, I don't know. Let's see who can learn Mega Kick. Janeway and Aquasand. Okay, I'll get rid of Takedown on Janeway for Mega Kick. I don't want that to be a waste. Brick Break. I have to teach that to somebody, and again, it's just the same two Pokemon that can learn it. Um, I don't know who to teach that to. I'll have to get back to that one. I'll think about it. How much power does this have? This still doesn't say. 60. Mud Bomb has more power, but... Bulldoze has more accuracy, so I actually more care about that, to be honest. Um, okay, so that's fine. So let's see, uh, Solar Beam, I'm gonna teach that to Grassy. I get rid of Poison Powder, I don't use it. Actually, was Toxic an option? Because if it was... Is that it? Are those all the moves? Yeah, those are all the moves, okay. Um, let me just see if Toxic was an option. Because if it was... Uh, no, it's not. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I did what I wanted to do. And now, I want to buy some Ultra Balls. I just spent 50, over $50,000 on flipping TMs. Not even the Rock-type TMs that I was planning on getting. Um, okay, wait, where can I get the... Where can I buy the Pokeballs? I can't even buy Ultra Balls. Okay, I'm going to go back to Olivine. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I went back to the Olivine Pokemart, and I bought some more Ultra Balls, I bought seven more, so I have ten, and I was an idiot, and I went through that passageway again, I forgot that I had to pay a thousand dollars again, I thought it was only once, so now I'm down to, I'm down to 90,604, so I've gone down a lot, um, but you know, it is what it is, I'm gonna probably do, I'm gonna battle some more trainers, I guess when I, uh, I guess when I play this tomorrow, um, to get some of that money back, but the only problem is that I'm, I'm getting really close to the level cap, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to attempt to catch this Pokemon. It is the Red Gyarados. The Red Gyarados is something that we hear about a lot. And I'm going to attempt to catch it. I really hope I can. Let's go ahead and challenge it. Oh, nice! Whoa, it's an Alpha Gyarados. And we hear the Lugia battle theme. That's actually awesome. Okay, so I actually, I didn't prepare for this at all. I did not prepare for this at all. Can I still catch this Pokemon? I don't know. Let's put him to, let's try to put him to sleep. Um, okay, so I want to take out the Magikarps. Wow, this is a three on three battle. This is actually sick. And I love how it has the, uh, the Lugia battle theme. Dragon Rage, that's fine. Okay, hopefully this won't knock out. I don't. Can, can we still catch the the, the Gyarados? Because if not, I bought all those Ultra Balls for nothing. I don't. I, I don't like that. Uh, but we'll see. Wait, what? The Magic Card just 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 evolved. Uh. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fan attack on the Alpha Gyarados. I've heard of Alpha Pokemon, but I'm not sure what they are. Let's use Thunder Punch on... I can't use Thunder Punch on that Gyarados. Oh yeah, because I'm at, I'm at the wrong side. Um, let's Mega Kick then. Our brand new attack. Okay, so it looks like this Gyarados has like really good defenses, I guess. Uh... Mega Kick. Okay. Okay, I want to take out the Gyarados. Are we going to, like, are we going to rotate again? Dragon Tail. Okay. I love this music. What? Wait, what just... I only can have two, two Pokemon out right now? Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, I'm I'm all over the place right now. Okay, sure. What? Wait, seriously? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want this Gyarados to die. 
Um, I want to know, can we actually attempt to catch this Pokemon? What? That's not where this item can be used. So I can't use- I- 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 I can't- I can't use it? The text goes away so fast. So I, I can't actually catch the- Okay, so I bought all those Ultra Balls for nothing. That's good to know. Alright, so now let's just try to take down this, uh... I guess I want to take this- I guess I want to take this, this Gyarados down. So that Gyarados goes down, Magikarp is in tackle. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, I, I actually, I think that's right. I think Gyarados can learn Thunder. Wow, the Gyarados just evolved. That's cool that the Pokemon can literally evolve mid-battle. I wish my Pokemon could do that. And you get another Magikarp. Okay, so you know what? I gotta stop messing around. I gotta stop messing around. We gotta take this, uh... Me Zed headbutt. We gotta take this shiny Alpha Gyarados down. I've, d I've accepted the fact that I can't catch it, even though I just spent a lot of money on Pokeballs. There we go. Do I get a lot of experience? I get no experience. Wow. Okay, so we have two Gyaradoses. This sh this won't be a problem now. Wait, what just happened? Wait, why did the Gyaradoses faint? Wait, I I'm so confused. Why did they faint? Is it because they have to be there for the... They, they can't survive without the, without the red Gyarados? Is that how that works? I, I, I have no idea. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna run away. No, I'm not. They're not gonna let me run away. Thank you. Come back here and... Let's talk to this guy. That red Gyarados wasn't acting right, as I feared somebody must have forced it to evolve. You come here because of the wild tales? You're Jake Ryan Charles. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. Is that the way you battled earlier, Jake? I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, do you help me investigate? Sure. It seems that Lake of Rage's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause, and that suspicious suit in your shop. I'll be waiting for you in Mahogany, Jake Ryan Charles. And then he goes away. So, I'm going to fly back to Mahogany. And I'm going to end off the episode there. So, it's now apparently quarter after eight on Friday. Guys, I'm going to end things off there. I will heal off screen. And I'll probably go battle some of the strangers again to get to get some of my, my money back. So I can get over $100,000 again. Um, because I just bought all those Ultra Balls and stuff for nothing. And I'm probably going to sell them, to be honest. Um... So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake, I'm going to see what this Lance guy wants. Well, I know what he wants, but I'm going to go and help him investigate. So that's next time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Peace out.